Welcome back to another edition of the CEO's blog. And John, welcome back to you as well. My pleasure. How's your week been? Very well. Um, busy. busy. The Melbourne Cup always occupies the mind of uh, people who love horses. Um, great race yesterday, but um, we're all about ha harness racing. And we've got the New Zealand Cup um, the second Tuesday in November. Yeah, New South Wales has a strong contender. Tiger Tara and uh, we wish uh, Kevin and, and, and the horse and of course Todd McCarthy all the very best in the New Zealand Cup. We'd like to bring that, that, that race back to New South Wales again. Yeah, well he went pretty close last year, didn't he, with his strong efforts. So on the topic of Todd McCarthy, he was a winner on the weekend taking out the Australian Drivers' Championship. Yeah, fantastic championship in South Australia and I congratulate the South Australian um, Authority and the club for putting on um, this um, each every second year, uh, Tasmania hold it the other year, of course. And uh, ha how good was the competition? Um, eight races, uh, seven different winning drivers, and seven different winning trainers. So uh, the money was spread around, and it just shows the talent of drivers in in um, Australia that they're so so keenly contested. Mm, most definitely. Well, one driver that could potentially compete in that um, in that series in years to come if he keeps his strike rate up is young Josh Gallagher. Yeah, a couple of, couple of you know, competitions to win uh, would be like the junior Australian Junior Drivers' Championship, but young Josh turned 18, so um, he's um, not quite in the big boys' ranks yet, but he's certainly showing a lot of promise. Yeah, most definitely. And how about um, patience paying off for Casey Hocking at Dubbo on Sunday? Oh, yes, patience paying off. Patience paying off for the owner, um, her and Brendan, um, two years off the off the track that horse was, and um, he, he scored a win off a couple of good um, a trial for a bit of trial form, a couple mm -hmm. of trial wins. So uh, uh, well done, Casey and Brendan. They moved from Broken Hill to Parks to uh, further their um, adventure in harness racing, and um, they're doing a great job. Lovely people, and um, we wish them all the best and as much success as possible. Okay. All right, uh, this Saturday night we have racing at Menangle, but we also have Griffith's Carnival of Cups. Yeah, and at Menangle we have the owner's presentation night. Mm -hmm. So um, all members of the association, um, I, I'm sure if you contacted Michael Brown or Daniel Cordina, they'd find a spot for you if you're not already in. But um, yeah, Carnival Cups at Griffith, it's the second one of the season. Uh, a good, a very good um, eight race program. Mm. Uh, it was um, interesting to note that um, with the Carnival Cups meetings, these are for Australian bred horses only. They held the heats uh, last night uh, for some of the races and other races um, at Griffith and um, they were the strongest fields um, Griffith's seen for, for many years mm -hmm. so um, certainly the, the the Australian bred is um, hitting home with um, you know participants yeah. uh, they realize that there's only basically one major race meeting in in each town each year where this affects so um, now all good and Dennis Conroy um, I'll see you there on Saturday night yeah okay yeah so it's gonna be a big Saturday night then with all that happening and um, and then let's also talk about this is completely off topic but this book smolder uh, well Christmas is coming so close um, I'm sure every enthusiast uh, remembers um, what a great horse smolder was and this is a wonderful book I, I haven't read it completely yet I flicked through it and uh, I think uh, thank Marcus Kirkwood for sending the book down to me uh, as a gift and that's not because I'm giving it a free plug he was a great horse uh, they're great owners um, I, I suggest um, people grab hold of one of these books. If, if they need to know where to get it from, of course, they can just contact Harness Racing New South Wales and we'll put you uh, in the right place to, to purchase it. Most definitely. Okay, John, have I missed anything in this edition? I think we've only got one more thing. I was talking about the New Zealand Cup. Um, Ellen Rickson, who won the Junior Drivers Championship uh, in 2017, uh, she'll be um, certainly going to New Zealand, um, enjoying the Cup, but... Um, uh, receiving some mentoring from Cran Delgetti, it's part of that award. Uh, Lexus of Parramatta, of course, um, um, are the sponsors of the award, and mm -hmm. it's a great experience. Um, of course, um, this year it was won by um, uh, Maddie, Young. Maddie Young, Melanie Elder, two more girls, but Brad Elder, he has to still pick his up from the previous year. So um, great experiences and, and good mentoring that these young people can have offshore. Yeah, right. So Ellen's going to spend... The week with Cran, or is that how yes, it works? Yep. Uh, yeah, certainly yep. the week with Cran, lear um, learning his techniques. Yes. Um, uh, everyone has their own special thing to do. They own care for horses, their own training um, regime. So um, it'll be a great experience for Ellen. Yeah, most definitely. Hope she has fun. Okay, John, it's been great to catch up. My pleasure. And we look forward to next week's edition. Thank you, Amanda.